Hello viewers, welcome to my corner once again today. The video you are about to watch is a very hilarious, very interesting, very funny one. A Nigerian Okada man just refused to take bet, refused to bet himself for several weeks. It got to a point that Whenever he's in the midst of his fellow Okada people, everybody begins to close his nose because his, an offensive order is coming out of him, it's coming from him. So they try talking to him to, oh boy, go and bath now, go and wash yourself. You know, this Okada man refused. So he got to a point, his fellow Okada men teamed up and then whisked him. They took him by force to a car wash. And then you can see them using the car wash uh, hose to and so to bet him to scrub his body. Very, very fun. Very, very interesting. I said I would not, you know, partake of this uh, interesting video alone. Let me share it to my viewers. You know, um, the... The heart is heavy because of uh, so many things going on in the country. You know, the hardship, you know, uh, high cost of living, uh, overall poverty, and things like that. So we just need things like this to unwind. You know, that is why I've just uh, posted this video along the path so that, you know, get amused. Laugh and laugh and forget your sorrows. Forget your pains. Forget your troubles. Forget your hardship, forget the poverty, you know, and as you do so, don't enjoy it alone. Do share to friends also, where we share colleagues so that they also will partake. You know, they said laughter is the antidote to pain and hardship. So watch the video, I'll be right back. <laughs> viewers <laughs> this is something else this is actually something else you have watched the video a full grown man just refused to bet refused to shower take bath you know city he now began to stink a living human being began, began to stink and he took the intervention of fellow Okada people, bike riders, you know, to hijack him, bundle him, 
and then took him to a car wash and then car wash him <laughs> with the car, car washer's man hose. With the car, wa the car washer's hose, they now have to scrub his body with uh, uh, detergent and then wash him clean. Now, what could be the reason why this young man refused to bet? What could be the reason why a full grown man will just say he will not take daily bet? He will not bath himself morning, night, or afternoon. He will not bath himself. What could be the reason? This question is hard. Though. I don't know. Could it be he's not happy because of the ongoings in the Nigerian society? Could it be that he was trying to express, um, you know, anger for bad leadership? Could it be he was trying to, you know, I don't know, I don't know. But whatever it is, bro, um, I, I want to tell you this. Do not let anything, not even poverty or, or hardship, you know, lack of money, bad governance, uh, you know, the insurgencies in the land, banditry, hessmen, saga, and all that, hijack and kidnap, do not allow anything to, you know, make you to refuse to bet. Do not allow anything deprive you of your own personal joy, individual joy. You are entitled to it. You have the right to be happy. You have the right to mingle, right of association. And you can only mingle and associate with others when you are clean, you know. When you are clean, you know, you bet yourself, you apply permit, you smell good. That is when others, you, you can go close to others and others will allow you to come close to them. It is not by, you know, refusing to bet. By so doing, you could contact uh, diseases. Yes, because when the body begins to stink, uh, you are prone to contacting, you know, trans communicable or transmitting diseases whatsoever. And even people around you in that household, you know, also stand in jeopardy because they too could uh, contact uh, illness or illnesses from you. So do not allow that to happen. So let me use, uh, take this time out to, you know, reach you out. I don't know what you are facing at this time, you know. Um... Tough times do come and go, but tough people do withstand it. You know, it's tough time that will make that do make us tough. Nigerians are tough people. We are die-hard people. You know, these are people that can pro provide everything for themselves when there is a government, but uh, that doesn't deter us. You know, it is um, survival of the fittest. We got to fight, and we'll continue to fight until one day God will come to our rescue. God will. Uh, he has been hearing our prayers and uh, he will come to our rescue. So don't let anything deprive you of your personal joy. Don't let anything, you know, keep you sad perpetually. Do not do that. Cleanness, they say, lead to godliness. You know, before we can see God, we have to be clean. We've got to be clean, you know, clean in body and then clean in spirit. So if there's anybody there who is also trying to imitate this man, maybe your family person, your wife uh, is... Uh, causing you pain or your husband is causing you pain or your children the best thing to do is not to <laughs> avoid betting you know uh, you know it's not to abstain from betting you know after every day's hustles you know the dot the body becomes dirty so we need to pour water on the body scrub with a uh, soap and then take a clean bed you know refresh so we got to do this you know so do not for any reason say <laughs> You will not bath. Okay? Yes. So, um, it's election time in Nigeria. Because this is happening live in Nigeria. It's election time. Yes. Uh, we have been quite unfortunate when it comes to governance. So, this is the time for you, for I, you know, as Nigerians, as individuals, as families, you know, to make the right decision that will guarantee that the next four years after the election, come February next year, at least things will be uh, better. And how do we do that? Just to vote in, you know, somebody with credibility, somebody with, uh, um, somebody who has left his prints on the sand of history, 
somebody that we can guarantee uh, that uh, you know we team Nigeria for once or Nigeria once again is going to experience a good governance. Somebody is not extravagant, you know that is it. Somebody who has the credibility, the pedigree to at least fight for the betterment of this country. Somebody that will hear the cries of the poor masses. Somebody that will embark on policies and programs and projects that will elevate the plight of the you know common man on the streets, the average man, the less privileged, somebody that we cater for the welfare of the less privileged. That is all we want. So it is uh, it behoves on us now. And that's what we got to do to make sure that we exercise our franchise and with our PVC, we should be able to make the right choices, make the right votings. You know, to him or to those that uh, we, uh, you know, based on their uh, antecedents, you know, and the history of what they have done in the past so far that will guarantee uh, good governance. So, stay clean. Do not abstain from betting. Uh, look good, you know. Um, do not relegate yourself to perpetual anger and pain because of. Uh, Sufferings in the land, or because of another person's uh, cause. No, be happy is an, 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 an entitlement. It's a choice. I can choose to be happy. You can choose to be happy. We all can choose, you know, to be happy despite the sufferings in the land. On the kind of way, next time, I remain yours sincerely. So please, like I said earlier on, welcome to my corner. If this is your first time, you are at the right place. This is a hilarious, uh, you know, channel. I will put smiles on your lips, you know, every now and then. And also that future um, news, um, you know, programs and videos that are educating, that are entertaining, that are, that are exciting, you know, that will help you to unwind, you know, after all the hustling and bustling of the day, of the week, and of the month. So if you are new to my corner, please hit the subscription button. Subscribe to this channel, Pepsi channel. You know, and as you do that, don't forget to hit the notification board as, uh, button as well so that each time I release a video, it will come your way. And please like the videos, give it a thumb up, and don't forget to share to friends, loved ones, and well wishers out there. You know, let the videos go viral. Live and bless. I'm not going your way next time. I am blessed. Thank you.